Whether you believe it was self-defense along with the jury who found them innocent of all five charges, or believe his innocence was a direct result of white supremacy favoring those who are white, blacks in this country have been put on notice. There is neither help or protection in these courts of law for them. Cal Rittenhouse is not the first notice we've been given and his victims were white like he is. Yet blacks feel they'll be the open prey of every vigilante because of the court's failure to convict a white man for taking white life. So we know damn well they won't be convicting for taking a black one. So now any white racist can show up at what he feels to be a Black Lives Matter protest and claim to feel threatened or attacked and shoot to kill in response. I was out protesting property against being vandalized and I was attacked, is all he'll have to say. That's what Rittenhouse said, that he was out there watching property, protecting it against vandals. I didn't see any property in the street when he killed those people, did you? I didn't see him arrested as he walked boldly down it, fully armed, with no attempt to hide or conceal it. He walked those streets like he worked for the government itself, under full protection of every government agency out there right along with him. Where else do you get the audacity to kill a man and not even flinch as people are yelling to officials what you've done? He wasn't worried at all. So the display in court was quite confusing because he appeared to be shaken to the core at the prospect of doing time and both astonished and relieved that he's free to leave and the ordeal is over. Over for whom? Because blacks in this country ain't found relief yet. We are still marching, still begging for justice for those wrongly murdered underneath the system of white supremacy which neither values our lives or thinks punishment is deserving of those who take it. Not only do they believe no punishment is owed, they believe you shouldn't be comforted or prayed for while you sit and hear how they murdered your loved one. Because the attorneys for the guilty have said, we don't want no black pastors in the courtroom, then tried to call a mistrial due to their presence. That was white supremacy dictating who can be prayed for and comforted, who can enter into a courtroom in support of a victim's family. So now over 500 pastors are down there doing what pastors do, pray, counsel, and support a stand for justice. But my question is, what will you do if the verdict is not guilty? Or if for any reason, those men are allowed to walk free I don't, clear, I don't care how clear the guilt is because we've seen that movie before and they walked away free. I hope the prayer vigil and the gathering together is in contemplation of these things while awaiting the verdict. In fact, that ought to be the position of everyone out there demanding justice of the courts so that when it fails, you go immediately into action, not tears, because they disappointed. They need to worry about what we are going to do if they don't do the right thing. And if that ain't what you're doing, you ain't in a fight. You are purely there in support for when the letdown comes down once again. As for Cal Rittenhouse, take a look at him immediately after he exited the courtroom.